Hey everyone, Real Comic Stacks here. If you're asking why am I doing a Return of Wolverine number one book in December, it's because I'm that far behind. And um, I'm starting to get caught up, but I wanted to do number four when it comes out, and I felt like I kind of needed to do one through three uh, and do them uh, pretty quick, knock them out in a quick fashion. That way we could uh, all be on the same page as far as uh, make sure I know what I'm talking about. Uh, I had to just start this video over again because I completely doxed myself when I knocked my camera over, but that's all good. Uh, we'll get into this again. Now this storyline, uh, the big thing you need to know, this uh, group Solterra um, kept coming up in the um, in the lead up to this, in the hunt for Wolverine. Um, some key points out of that, apparently Mr. Sinister has DNA on everybody on Earth. Not weird at all. And um, uh, Dagon, uh, he, um, he was killed uh, by some of the Solterra goons uh, in a weird... Um, yeah, very weird storyline um, having to do with a they had a way to neutralize um, his healing factor, so that may come into play later in the series um, but that's uh, that's the base of Persephone's the big bay um, uh, of Solterra, so we, we're led to believe, so let's look into it beautiful, and by Charles Soule's on this which is huge, because he was involved in the death of Wolverine, and he's also going to be Involved in the uh, Infinity Watch Wolverine that's scheduled for January, so Charles Soule's back in the game as far as it comes to Wolverine, and that's uh, that's a good thing. Come up, it comes out with this uh, awesome splash page: Wolverine, a great hero, selfless, strong, brave, an X Man, an Avenger, steadfast friend, an implacable enemy. He was dead, and then I dropped the book. He's not, and you get this this splash page. Open it up and. You got the flaming claws thing. We can we can discuss this uh, a little bit more in detail later. I don't know what it really adds, um, but we'll see. Um, you got this uh, him splashing his hand down in in, in just blood covered floor, and, uh, and you get this shot of the crossed uh, um, claws, blood on his hands, and he's just. A confused look, and he's got an injury. Uh, well, first of all, a saber tooth in there, a saber tooth, not the saber tooth, and um, he's got an injury on his side actually that's not healing. He's obviously confused, and hears hears somebody, and it ends up being an injured uh, um, uh, one of the one of the lab techs or uh, one of the scientists. I'm getting a bag later there, um, and. Uh, he goes over, takes him some water, and uh, and he's trying to basically figure out who he who he is, and um, he's starting to tell him about Solterra and Persephone and everything that goes with it. You're getting a a real fast rundown on everything. Um, he, and he one of the things he says is he says they want our our greatness. Uh, bring her down, if not for the world. For what she did to you, and uh, and he he says, "Hey, look, I'm just one man. It's not like I could save the whole planet." And the scientist looked at him and said, "You've done it before." And Wolverine is having straight amnesia here. He does not know who he is. Um, and before he can get any more of an explanation, the doc slams his uh, head forward and says, "Hey, put the claws out, man. Kill me, because if not, I'm going to continue to suffer." She'll just. And as soon as that happens, canister rolls in and explodes. When it does, uh, I guess the saber tooth tiger gets out, and we have Wolverine fighting a saber tooth tiger because why not? And it's on fire. Um, from there, he starts having having these flashbacks, and and these happen throughout. His mind is not right, and we find we get a really cool. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but a really cool reason. Um, a really cool description of what's going on in his mind a little bit. But the saber tooth tiger on top of is mauled by a mammoth and um, and he's just he's still just trying to, to figure it out. And he has to he knows he has to get moving because those thugs whoever threw that grenade is coming in and he heads out to go and, and try to stop these guys. And he's getting these flashbacks of the different the different versions of himself talking about the you know the weapon x version and or the um <laughs> the, I, I i don't like i don't like the eye patch 
suit version. Call me crazy. Um, but he just is, he says, I've only got really one choice, and that's to keep moving forward. He comes out just in time to kind of see one of the Jeeps speeding off. Uh, and these, these guys are pretty bad as goons, I guess. I mean, you, you didn't even run in and check. Unless the whole thing is to make him follow, then I guess you did your job. But um, I'd, I'd, I'd maybe... Uh, on the market for some new goons he hops on a bike grabs a rifle and he is uh he's on the way following them follows them into a Salterra camp where they're rounding everybody up and uh telling them to get on their way i'm gonna skip a couple pages because it's not really pertinent i mean it is but i uh, don't want to get a copyright strike uh so a couple pages later wolverine's finally bearing down on these guys uh firing on a motorcycle just bearing down on them and Um, puts a round right through this guy's head. I mean, he's he's out, right? Nope. And we got uh, looks like uh, uh, man, I almost said Crimson Dynamo, um, Omega Red, who gra claws out or not claws, but uh, tentacle out, grabs the, grabs the rifle, picks it back up, and puts around Wolverine's way and hits the front tire, um, or I guess the yeah, it exploded. But at the front, looks like a flat tire wouldn't explode like that. But hey, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Wax his metal head on a big rock, and he is he's out cold. And this is what I was talking about earlier with what's going on inside his head, because it's really cool. Uh, basically, you have these, everything's compartmentalized. All the different aspects of his personality have been compartmentalized in his head. And the first one he sees is the crazy one. Um, just sitting there... Um, same bub, 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 over and over again. And uh, he's there with this woman, and you find out this woman is Persephone, uh, at least in his head. And uh, she makes the point that you can't, he can't get out unless you let him out. And basically, nothing in here gets out unless you want it to. Um, and she shows him this whole, and this this is just an interesting shot of his his mind. And, and what he's going through, um, and you see all the all the memories in there. You see Storm and Sabretooth and Cyclops um, and Lady Deathstrike, and then you know, a different version of Logan, and the, you know the Weapon X version. And it, it's it's a really cool concept. I really like the way they uh, visually depicted this. And you know it's a visual medium, and to see this, it, it really it makes a lot of sense. Um, so he asks about this wall, which I think is going to come into play later. But she says that's not a door, it's a wall, and it's there for a reason. Um, don't look into it, you'll be very upset, trust me. Um, and she, this is where he finds out it's actually Persephone, and she's very, they're very good friends. Um, and he tells her straight up, look, a dead guy just told me that you were the problem here, um, and he, he should be trying to stop you. And she just lays a kiss on him, says you were misinformed, and she says, look, I brought you back to life. And then he's woken up, by this, uh, by the scientist, uh, Anna, who's asking for help, saying, "Hey, they took my son, and this is, you know, Wolverine doing Wolverine stuff. He's, uh, he knows, hey, stealing kids is wrong, and so he's gonna help." Um, and let's go forward a little bit. Uh, basically, he agrees to help her. Goes forward gets changed this this wound on his side um won't heal which is weird um none of this really matters other than hey um they came in they grabbed some people they killed some of them they took the others and um basically she's going through and telling him all the stories about how he was a hero and all the different things he did and he, she brings up this one instance where this guy came into this uh city um, started shooting it up in his mech suit, and he was the one that charged forward, you know, got shot up, uh, but, you know, took out the guy anyways. And Wolverine has a good line here, and says, because I kill, you're a I'm a hero. And she makes a better point that, no, you're a hero because you save people. And with that, he goes and he unlocks the, the cage that has the hero superhero Wolverine in there, and... And from there, he's uh, he's on the way. And he asks her about Persephone, and she basically says that she's the devil. And with that, we're off to find the devil. 
and so that's it uh wolverine number one the um it's a good book i mean it's it, it, your wolverine's back you got to be excited about it but you wonder where how he's being manipulated um who's manipulating him you know what's persephone's uh end game here and uh but that's it definitely recommend you can probably still find it on the shelves because they over shipped this thing like you wouldn't believe i think there were 12 or 14 different covers for this i know i still see them in some of the comic shops i visit but guys that's it make sure you grab the that subscribe button down there and uh, melee that a couple times and um i appreciate it and i'll do uh return of wolverine number two here very very shortly probably have it up tonight and then i will have number three as well guys that's all i got real comic stacks out